I'm Vinu Keller. Welcome to Vinu Inspires. It's time to give your children a childhood they won't have to heal from. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday Wisdom with Vinu Keller. Today I wanted to talk about a subject that my guest Nick and I were talking about on yesterday's show about where we're putting the focus with our kids. Are we focusing on the problem or are we focusing on the solution? So here's a fact. Whatever we focus on, it just grows. So if your child is coming home with the problem at school or the problem with a friend, and all we're focused on is what the problem is and how they felt and what the kid felt and constantly just thinking of like, what's wrong with um, people? What's wrong with the rules? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? That is going to expand exponentially. If we took them out of the problem and we started focusing on the solution, the solution can also expand exponentially. It's where do we want to put our focus? What do we want our kids to learn to put their focus on? Do we want them to constantly be looking at what the problem is? Or do we want to make them have that solution mindset to always being able to figure out what's the solution? How are we building that up in our children? If we are parents and we are constantly finding the solution for them, we're constantly making excuses for them. We're constantly making excuses for what's going on. What are we showing our children? We are showing them also that excuses can deter us from really what the solution to the problems are. So I would invite you, if you're listening to this, is to take note of where you're actually putting your focus. How could we as parents start to teach our kids to be solution mindset oriented? How do we teach them to learn how to resolve the problems that are going on in their life, to take ownership? Because power is in the ownership. Power that we have in our life is not in the control. And so many of us, including myself in the past, have thought that I need to have control and over to the control of the situation. And that's really not true. The power actually is in the ownership. So if I take ownership for what is going on in my life or in the problem, and I realize that this is what I'm doing, if I did this differently, would this resolve the issue at hand? If I have conflict with someone, how do we resolve it? Part of the way that we need to parent is the way to show our kids how we're showing up. If we are able to come to them and instead of always, you know, yelling and being upset and constantly looking at what the problem is, and we start focusing on the solution, you know, so I'll give you an example. So one of the problems I have is that my daughter, she has everything kind of spread out in her room. And for me, it looks like an absolute mess. Like I, I constantly am asking her, you know, you need to clean your room. Can you clean your room? You know, what's going to, what has to happen for you to get your room clean? And what I've understand, understood is that her mind, her room is clean. Like this is clean to her. She knows where all her doll stuff is because it's all in her, all over her, um, doll um, house. <laughs> so that's probably why she knows where it's at, but it looks so messy and it's not tidy and it's not organized. And her 10 year old mind is not organizing like my adult mind. And so instead of focusing always on why it's not clean or how I want it clean, it's focusing on asking her, what would it feel like if everything was tidy and organized and everything was organized in the box and, you know, your room was clean and you dusted and you were able to vacuum. Imagine laying on your bed and just thinking and looking around your room and feeling how clean and tidy your room feels. What does that feel like to you? And she says, oh, it feels really good. Like really good. It feels so good. I said, yeah, it would feel good. So what do we need to do? What has to happen to make that possible? So if you notice in that scenario, I am focused on the solution. I'm putting all the power, all the feeling, all the emotion into the solution versus constantly, you know, 
like browbeating her over getting her room clean and it needs to be clean this way. And this is, you know, it's my, it's my job to guide her and teach her how to keep a tidy room. Cause one day she's going to be an adult and how does she want her house to look? I've gone through all of it. So sometimes we have to just take a step back and ask ourselves, where are we putting the focus? Are we putting the focus into the problem? Are we putting the focus into the solution? And also teaching them to take ownership. Ownership gives them power and teaching them to put power and focus into the solution gives them the strength to continue to move on to the next thing in life. Because let's just face it, we're always going to have problems. And when we solve that problem, we're going to have another problem. And if we equipped our kids with learning how to be a solution-oriented mindset, think how much further they'll go along when they're an adult. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you.